To conclude Cardboard in August, we end up with a cardboard end table. This is a great project to spark ideas for all your furniture needs. We make the cardboard stronger by layering sheets together. We also show you how to make a... A, do a dado. A dado. See, I mess it up. Slot to hold up the shelf. You can join me as we make a cardboard end table on Bob Vila's home up. Oh, wait. Fab Bob. Fab Lab, episode 14, Cardboard Table. End table, that is. It's Thursday, August 25th, 2011. I like it, Jet, when, we, when we're listening to music. Uh, last week, Jet was trying to find us some, some <laughs> intro music, and, you know, Gary Newman, that sounds like some guy I've probably heard of before. But uh, turns out he actually makes a very famous, well, that's about 1980s, yeah. somewhere around there, song. Cars? <laughs> yeah, Cars. That no one, like, we didn't even know that's who it was. And Yeah, I was like, wait, wait, what's this? What is this? Is cars? Gary Newman? Uh, Who's this guy? Know. Yeah. That is crazy. So, Jeff, how are you doing today? All right. How are you doing, Nicholas? I'm good. You know, uh, last week I was like, came in right before the, I pulled a Leo, as I like to call that. <laughs> I, I got here right you before got my, the show. You got my coffee ready? <laughs> yeah. Got here right before the show started, and uh, luckily our coach let us out earlier today because we have a meet on Saturday, so I am here on time. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, Jeff, let's talk about our final project in Cardboard August. Yes. So, um, if you guys haven't figured out already, we are <laughs> we have made a cardboard end table, end table. Um, before we begin. Head on over to... Whoa. <laughs> that was cool. I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> Head on over to uh, uh, Pinoco, uh, the blog.pinoco.com and check out our um, post there. And um, you can just search for Fab Lab over there on the left and find our post where you can uh, download all the project files for free, as always, in our showroom. And. Um, Check out the materials we used and some tools, which the tools for this project is glue of some sort. I prefer hot glue and something heavy. And um, this uh, this episode actually, this pro, what the? Why does it do that? I don't That's know. I don't know. Did what it's the doing. transition? Oh, is it? Is it supposed so to be on that side away? It's supposed no. to be smooth. Okay. Somebody clicked it. I don't know. <laughs> whoa! 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 Okay. Difficulty lever is three out of five labs. Okay. Uh, this isn't that bad, but you're, but you need to be kind of precise when while putting together. Sideways tongue stick out face, um, and the reasoning behind that is because all this stuff goes together a certain way. If you get kind of sloppy with the glue and stuff, yeah, you can get them. I mean, you're layering. Well, we'll this show. one looks kind of more precise than any of the other ones. I mean, uh, yeah. the other ones. And also, also. Also, um, Pinoco. Oh yeah. In lieu of us uh, yeah, having some August. awesome Arg August cardboard month, um, not really, but uh, they're doing cardboard for free. The material is free for the next thirty days. So head on over there and check that out. Um, Which is a perfect time for you to make any of our cardboard August. Yeah, projects. you save a lot of money uh, because you can like use a bunch of cardboard and. You know, all yeah. you're charged is for processing, so Sweet. not bad at, at all. all. Um, and then also, and the links in there, and also Yana's material of the month, yeah, uh, which was April, but uh, yeah, yeah, and August, uh, April, same thing. Check out some other cool things made out of cardboard. Yes, and um, you can go and check out all of our other episodes for um, August that had all the cardboard stuff going on as well. You know, one more thing we need to mention just during the show before we get going here is we're planning to be at Maker Fair 2011 in Atlanta. Mini Maker Fair. Mini Maker Fair, exactly. Not the real one. Yeah. But hope <laughs> it may grow into a Maker. That'd be kind of cool if they had an Fair. Atlanta Maker, Maker Fair because I would go to it all the time. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to be live streaming there. We don't know the hours quite yet, but if you head over to pbcasttv.com, we will have the uh, official yeah. schedule there in the coming days. Um, and... 
it's not going to be like an official Fab Lab episode, but we would invite you know a lot of our Fab Lab viewers to join us over there on our live stream. Yeah, it's gonna be on a Saturday, so um, well, and of course, like we said, we'll have the official dates. Yeah, and it will be on Eastern time. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys are well. We'll still post in Central time, but we'll be like an hour earlier than normal. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, not for you guys on the West Coast, it might be a little early, but anyhow. So just wanted to mention that because that kind of pertains to this kind of stuff. If you know uh huh. Yeah. Um. So the uh, slow transition. There you go. Um, showroom over here. You got all the stuff going on. Um, all your pictures for you know, so you can check it out as well as the free files link right there. Sweet. And um, the material that we're using that we've been using all month is uh, uh, the 6.7 millimeter corrugated card double layered cardboard um, which takes uh, the vector engraving pretty well and you know does some pretty good cuts and as you can see how the corrugations run up and down in this picture um, the the grain if you will yeah. of the cardboard will be this way with the corrugations it's however they picture it in the picture so if you go and see them like bamboo and it's running this way, that's pretty much how the grain will go. So just yeah. keep that in mind when you're cutting uh, because stuff tends to be stronger against the corrugation instead of along with it. Um, so without further ado, let's do this. So this is the uh, small but robust um, end table. Yeah. Um, the only reason why it's this small is just due to limitations on the size, to the amount of cardboard used and all that, which, you know, go over there. You can make these, the, each of these panels themselves the size of oh, like a sheet. P2 sheet. Yeah. I mean, a P3 sheet. And you can make a pretty big size piece of furniture out of this. Yeah. And the cool thing is that this, four, we, we actually layered, if you check this out up close... I said if you check this out. Oh, I'm already on. Never mind. If you check this out up close here, there's actually four layers on these walls of the double layered cardboard. And then on the back wall is just two. And then the shelf is four. And the um, tabletop is four. Now, the cool thing that we did on the tabletop was each layer is rotated 90 degrees from each other. And that increases the structural stability of this top right. tremendously. So you can put something pretty heavy right there in the middle, and it's it might dent the 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 cardboard, but it's not going to make it cave in, and it'll keep it very yeah. strong. Um, if you have the space to do it on your project, I suggest doing that when you're layering stuff. We just didn't have the space to be able to rotate stuff 90 degrees. So think about that. Um, and I also included a little um, cutout right here to maybe if you want to put some kind of lighted object in here or an oh, alarm clock cool. or like something. Like have some LED like little yeah, light bars. You could or like whatever. light like the the EL wire. Yeah, that would whatever you yeah. want. You could mount the stuff back here with some hot glue and actually, yeah. um, you know, have all your stuff going on right there. An alarm clock down here. Any kind of like charge your phone. Yeah. Down here or you could use this for like footage. a display case or something if you wanted to do that. I mean, yeah. obviously that's not what it is. But you but, could build something like this to, and you wouldn't have to layer it near as yeah. much on top of um, it. The other cool thing, this is kind of like an abstract thought, is you can actually go in there and mount a light, like an LED light, up underneath here Yeah. that you know runs into the wall or something like that and um, actually turn your your end table into a lamp. You know, most people put a lamp on top yeah. of it. You can actually turn the end table into a lamp. That's pretty cool. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that... So, that's kind of thinking <laughs> outside the uh, proverbial box there. Yeah. But um, you can also, you know, do something down there if you want it to, whatever. It's it's tall enough to be able to, like, stick some shoes or something underneath there. So, I mean, it's a small little thing that, you know, you could just have somewhere... And it's, it's kind of neat just to have, like, it's like a little, like, accessory in yeah. your room or something like that just to stick stuff on. So, but the main the main thing for this is to get the gears flowing. Flowing? Get the <laughs> gears turning in people's heads of, hey, I could do this, that same method with the little dado grooves and yeah. stuff 
and and make whatever I want. You know, look at furniture around your house and picture that as cardboard. And just, you know, think about the stru- structural stability and stuff and go for it. Yep. I, I, you know, something that else just came to mind, if you have like a desk that kind of is a corner desk or something and you can put it up next to the wall, you could, you know, put a lamp on top of it or something like that, which is pretty cool. So... Um, and, and also, Smoothie in the chat room brought up a good thing. It is made out of paper. So if you put a drink directly on it, Yay. the condensate from the drink may warp the paper. Um, the other thing you can do with this, which I didn't do because I wanted to show it in its natural form, you know, like in the wild here. Um, <laughs> Cardboard. In you can wild. actually take some uh, little strips of, like, a paper grocery-like bag. Yeah. Put it down there and glue it, or the craft paper uh, tape. Oh, to cover up and the... cover up all this to make it kind of nicer. Yeah. You can also completely paint this thing, uh, yeah. uh, with some paint first, um, and then you can go back with like tons and tons of lacquer, and mm. uh, a bunch of layers of lacquer will actually make a shell out of this thing, pretty hard, and um, yeah, I just didn't want to do that because. I'm lazy. No, uh, because because we wanted to show. The, yeah, we want to show exactly what you get. Exactly. When you, and all 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 I used to put together was the cardboard and some hot glue and these little guys. I did, by the way, cut my foot open. I saw that. Um, so, oh, it was your foot. Yes, it was my foot. <sighs> oh my right God. before, right before I started making the uh, started putting together the end table, uh, my Exacto blade decided to roll off the table. Those caps are there for a reason, guys. So you they, didn't even ha- you didn't even have it in your hand. No, uh, <laughs> it was sitting on the table. I bumped oh or something, gosh. and it went <laughs> right down to my top of my foot. And uh, stay around after the show, and I'll show it on the live stream. Just saying, this one doesn't look crazy. actually that bad because it's it's almost healed completely now. Not really. But it did but, make a really cool crime scene, or not really. Dude, scene. it was it was bad. That's all I'm saying. We'll talk about it after the show, though. Yeah, we will. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, this this right here concludes Cardboard, Cardboard August. August. Um, now, next week, we will be starting our new schedule. Yes. Which is monthly episodes. We are no longer going to be doing weekly episodes. Sorry. Um, oh, that works out cool. So, it is next week. Yeah. Next Thursday will actually be it, all, September It 1st. will be next week. Huh. Um, and then we will go for three weeks without a show, or four weeks without a show, yeah. and then, uh, so it'll be the first Thursday of every month, pretty much. Yes, and of course we'll remind you via the blog and all that. Oh yeah, of. follow us on, uh, Twitter. Yes. Uh, at PBCast TV. Yes. On Twitter. Com um, PBCast. and you can do PBCastTV.com or PBCast.TV. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, you can also, f- uh, f- uh, Fly. Email us. Email us. <laughs> you can also email us, um, fab at pbcasttv.com, and um, send us some suggestions. Now, you really got to have to make them count, because we're only going to be doing one show a month, and, yeah. and we're wanting themed shows. So, like, September doesn't really have a theme, but so we're, we already got that one planned, and we already have October planned. But we need some for November and December and all the months. Yeah. So think about, if you're not in the U.S., Hey, throw us some of your holidays this that way and stuff cool. like that. Some... You know, something that's going on in that month. Yeah. Give us some theme ideas. That would be cool. Because we're wanting to coordinate everything with that month, since it's a monthly episode now. Um, so, like, for uh, October, we're doing some Halloween stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, not everybody out there celebrates Halloween, but, yeah, hey, it's, it's you know, for majority of our viewer base, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, uh, you know, we're we're thinking like November. We're gonna be doing some like harvest stuff slash Thanksgiving, which is a U.S. holiday. Yeah. Um, you know, stuff like that. You know, some something that basically is that. So yeah, send it to us, and we will send you. Oh, I always pick the wrong drawer. We will send you this Cracker Barrel bag. No, what's in the Cracker Barrel bag? Which is a. Oh. A, oh, I'm on the wrong thing. 
which uh, is a, a Fab Lab keychain. Fab Lab keychain. And it's made out of leather, which we did as a show. Go check that out. Yeah, and sure. those design files are also free, as always. <laughs> yep. Um. But yeah. So check it out and send us your suggestions. Yes. And you can follow me on Twitter. That's what Freaking huge. F R E A K I N H U G E. Yes. And you can Jacob follow Roberts. Me. me. Yeah. And it's my personal blog, which I never update anymore. So uh, be sure to go on there, subscribe to that, and not get any emails that I've done new posts. Um, I'm really trying to do that. It's just, you know, you share it on Twitter, and then you share it on Google+, yeah. you share it on Facebook, and then you're like, I don't want to share anymore. Forget this junk. <laughs> okay. So, um, and also, jacobroberts.me slash plus, plus symbol there, um, to yes. uh, go to my Google+, Plus there. Get me all up in that. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash that Nick Jones, Nick Jones dot me, and G plus dot T O slash Nick Jones. If you're on Google Plus, send me you know how you can kinda just target a a um a post to one person? Send me a post. I've had a couple people do this, not for Fab Lab, but tell me that you're a Fab Lab viewer and we may like in if you want to spotlight something, we may just do that. You yeah. Know? We might we're plug doing. a little something, something, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Yeah. So, I guess, until next time. I'm Nick Jones. And I'm Jacob Roberts. And this has been another episode of Fab Lab. Lab.